hello you're welcome to this tutorial video and right here i'll be showing you how you can use books to create your ebook right and how you can as well create flip books right without any stress now if you click on create ebook you see you can start from scratch you can start from template right and you can import word documents to create your ebook you can import from blog post or url to create your ebook now let us start from scratch you have to click here and then you come to next right here you click on next you see we have title author and keywords you enter your title let's say weight loss an author mark john sorry john then keywords okay weight loss fast exercise fruit like that then you click on create and then you come to this interface right where you start creating your ebook and that is if you are creating from scratch you have these features we have text image we have circle rectangle we have exit editor you also have here where you can edit your title that is the name of your ebook you can edit it right here as the title right you can make use of this opacity if you want to show your content or you want to hide your content you can click on this right this is for you to bring an element forward and this is for you to take it backward right and after creating your ebook you can save it in pdf format you can as well save the progress of your ebook and right here we also have the ai bot which you can use to generate content you can use this to generate content you know you don't have to stress yourself you don't have to rack your brain now let us start for you to write something you have to click on text here then you see text here you can move it to anywhere right and right here you have the edit content and you have the delete element so once you move these and you drop it anywhere, you know, these other features will pop up for you. Now let's move forward. Now you click on this edit content and you'll be able to write something right here. Let's say wait loss, right? And and for you to drag it, you have to click on this cancel edit, right? And you move it to anywhere, right? You give it a shape and you increase the font size right you increase it you increase and increase you know it keeps increasing and you have to adjust it here again right and you can move it to anywhere Do not forget right you can increase the font size again Then you adjust it, move it to the left a bit. Then you adjust, right? You see, you can give it any size that you want. Is that okay? So uh, you adjust a little bit. Let me adjust. You see? Wow. This is amazing. Then you can bold it a bit, right? And you can change the text color right here. Change the text color. You can give it green. I think I like this. And if you want to change the font, you can come right here. Change the font. You know, you can change the font to anything that you actually want. And that's it. Now, if you want to write something else again, you click on text. You see the text comes up. You move it down, right? and you click on edit content right
then cancel edit you can move it to anywhere just like i said and you can adjust this okay now you can increase the size you can increase the size once you adjust it here you adjust it then you increase the size increase the size you increase the size then you adjust it through where you want it to be you can add more size and then you decide to bold it and I might leave it on bold you know then you can change the text color as well you change the text color right take this I think this is okay let me bold it a bit right so this is it you know it's coming up right and you want to add another text text here and you edit it right once you are done typing you click on cancel edits and um, you adjust it right and you know this is not well arranged you can come right here and align to the center and you can bold it as well right then you give it uh, you adjust the size So you can adjust the size right here to the left adjust it all right I think I like this then you can pick any font right here that you want. This um Georgia. Oh no, I think. Okay. Can reduce the size. Reduce the size. Right, that's it. That's it. I like that. You know so once they're done you move on again you can make use of uh, let's say circle you can use the circle you come up you pick your circle you know take it to any part of your work take it to anywhere you want to put it let me keep it right here and you adjust it you adjust just right perfect and you can change the color the background color right here bravo this is okay so you can add text start clicking on text you go up you pick your text pick your text you know Put it in any position you want to keep it and once you do that you click on edit content again to write what you want to write right so you click on cancel edit and you adjust it right center you adjust it then bold it give it size increase the size increase the size just let me increase the size okay take it back perfect perfect now i can decide to change the color right i'm gonna decide to change the color i just come right here let me give it white yeah perfect that's it and um, let me add another text 
Let me add another text. Bring it right here. Click on edit content, right? And cancel edit. Bold it. Keep it center. And uh, adjust a bit more. Give it some size. Increase font size. Right. And now you can italicize it right and um, let me change the color give it this color oh no change the color so you can italicize this as well underline it great great This is perfect, right? And um, we also have image. You can add image to your ebook front page, right? Um, you come right here, you click on image. You pick the image you want to use, click on open, and you see the image right here. Double tap and move it move it you click you have to adjust the image right extend it to the side depending on how you want to have it and take it here a bit right adjust right okay so um okay let me take it here a bit okay so that's perfect for me right and um if you want to add more text you can do that okay now let me do this you can make use of rectangle as well right bring it down bring your rectangle down adjust it right And you can give it color, give it color, perfect. This is beautiful, this is amazing, it's coming up. So now you can add text again, go up, pick your text, bring it down, take it to where you want to write the text, click here and edit content i can add my name right here and you cancel edit right you adjust it and you increase the font size adjust it again you can align to center you can bold it right I think I don't want to bold it so while you are designing your ebook you have to make sure that you save your work you save the progress you click on this and you see book content updated successfully right that's it and you move on again right here you can add new page right you come down here you pick text Say it right here. You see, you can edit the text. You can say contents, cancel edits. You can increase it. Increase, increase. Let me decrease it. Decrease it. You can bold it. Take it to anywhere. Right. Let me keep it right here. You can change the font. Don't forget. I think you want area. Yeah, like this. So that's it. And once you're done, you pick another text again. Right, you come right here. And you edit content. Right. And now for you to you know input your text right here, you can make use of 
our AI box. Okay, when you click on it. So you have to ask these books, AI bot, anything, right? It can write fresh content for your ebook. It will generate ebook outline, articles, summarize content, and answer questions in any niche or topic, right? Now you input your command here. You say write simple and inclusive outline for weight loss ebook. Once you do that, you click on this search and you see it's generating your content for you right and once that is done you click on this copy search results or you download right as pdf you export as pdf but then i want to copy it you copy you see once it's showing this green it means it has been copied now you go back so now right here you click on the text right you click then you paste it right here you see you have to adjust it then you can increase the size here and you can as well bold it click on bold you see let me edit this Just it then you come right here you click on edit again I want to delete this right take this off I think it's coming up right wow this is beautiful it's coming off I have my outline already understanding weight loss what is weight loss you know like that and now I have to start generating content for my ebook, right? What do I have to do? I have to, you know, look for what is weight loss. And since I have my AI bot right here, it's not a problem for me. Now, for you to do that, you come to add new page again. Do not forget you can add as many pages as you want, right? Now, I have to. Copy this, edit, right, just copy this, copy it, you cancel edit, you go down, right, new text, take it right here, edit content, And you paste right here then you adjust it okay you cancel the edits cancel edits then you adjust right and that's it so now for you to generate content for this right just like i said earlier on you can come to these ai boards and you will generate any content now let's do that right you have to ensure that you give these ai boards enough command right for it to write as extensively as possible for you you see explain the concept of weight loss with more than three definitions and many examples and once you do that you click on this search you see it's generating the content already and once that is done you copy it and also you can use the record button right here to create your prompt right Okay, now let me do that you have to click on this right and you see your prompt you click on it and you see this you click on allow then you come back again click on it explain the concept of weight loss with more than three definitions and many examples and you see it's working automatically already so that's it now you have to go back Come right here, click on text. You move it, come right here, edit content, and you paste it, right? And right here, you have to click on cancel edit, and you adjust it. You 
move it to anywhere, right? Adjust it and can increase the font size. See that? Put it in the center. Oh, I think a line left is okay. Right. Isn't this amazing? Okay, so that's it. You can play with color as well. Let me give it some um, green. You can play with color. Right. Give me the side to remove something right here. Edit content. Remove that. Move it. Say you can edit right. You adjust your work. That's it. So once you're done, you click on cancel edit again, right? And that's it. So you can add more pages, right? When you click this, another page comes up. Now, if you want to remove the page again, you just click on this, delete page, and you have it like that. So that is it. Now, always ensure you save your work, right? And for this, now while creating your ebook, when you're done creating your ebook, you can, you know, export to PDF. You click on this PDF. And you have it downloaded to your computer, right? That's it. Now you can come right here to edit your title as well, right? And once you're done, you save title. You see, ebook title successfully saved, right? And that's it. Now, if you want to hide the content, you can do that as well. Let me bring it right here. Bold it, increase the size and all that. And now I want to hide it. Click on that, it goes right. You cannot see it anymore. But it's right here. And then you click on this, it comes back again. As you can see, it's back again, and that's it. So I delete it. So that's it. Now, so we also have the exit editor right here. Once you're done and having saved your work, you come right here, you click on exit editor. So you come right here, right? These are the ebooks that I have created. You're gonna have all the ebooks you've created right here, and you can easily go there by clicking on manage right here, right? And you can add 3D cover right to your ebook, and you have to click on this 3D cover. So we have different templates right here which you can use, right? Uh, for instance, you may want to use these, or okay, let me pick this. I think I like this. You click on this and you come down, you click on next. Click on next. You have to select your cover image, right? And you choose file. And let's say you're using this, you click on open. You know, it comes up right here for you, right? And you click on next. You see it has been uploaded and you have to click on download cover you see it has downloaded to my computer already right so we also have the edit ebook right here if you want to edit your ebook you can click on this edit ebook right and you'll be taken back right here where you can edit your ebook again right and once you're done you click on exit editor again to go back and you can as well copy ebook right copy the selected weight loss ebook Right, you click on create ebook. Right, you see it's created. Click on save. Now let's go back, exit editor. And as you can see, we have copied the ebook and you can edit this later on again. And that's it. So now let us go back again. Click on create ebook. And you can start from template. We have many templates that you can use. Now, when you click on this, click on next. You're gonna see all the templates we've got right here for you. So you can preview the templates, you know, for you to see the content and all of that, right? So that's it. Um, just go back again. You can preview another template for you to see. You can preview this. 
right this is another template that you can use right now we go back okay now say for instance i now want to use this template you just click on the template and you impute the title also keywords you impute your keywords you click on create so you have your template right here and all you have to do is to just edit the template right you can edit this you click on this edit content see right cancel edit and you can adjust it size right you move on again if you want to edit this particular content you click on it click on the edit button right you can do it see that click on it see that that and once you're done you click on cancel edit and you can adjust it and adjust this right adjust it a little bit just to suit your taste move it up click on this move it up a bit move it up you know just edit it and ensure that it meets your taste and desire so now table of content you can move it to anywhere you want to move it to cancel edit right move it to anywhere probably i want to put it here you can do that and what is well i want to bring it here edit it my question mark you know types of well move it to anywhere please as well cancel edit move it right here now click on this again cancel edit move it up i'm trying to adjust it to my taste and this is what you have to do using our template right it is quite easy you don't have to stress yourself just impute exactly what you want to have there or anywhere you want to put your content is that okay it is very simple i want to move this up i just you know take it off a little bit I want to move this up i take it up a little bit i take it up right and um okay let me give you some paragraphs now you click on this click on this edit content the paragraph move it down you know very simple come to edit and that is it right so once you're done in fact if you actually want to add more pages you can do that by just coming right here click on add page and you can create something right here before the next page but then if you don't have anything to add you can always delete the page right here right and you can change the image right here you can remove it and you can add your own image as the case may be you click on image click on open right you have it here you can put any image you actually want to put right in your ebook anywhere you want it to appear right and how you want it and that is it so now thank you and um, so that's it you click on save save progress book content updated successfully right and we still have the pdf right here you click on it right and it's saved to your computer and you can also use the ai boss to generate content and that is it so once you're done you can go back again using the exit editor right you say it here already and of course we go again create ebook you can make use of the import word document if you have word document on your computer you can make use of that you can convert it to ebook you click on this click on next and you see click here to select file only doc docs files are allowed right so you click on it and you pick your document click on open click on next you see it's reading document content 
it will now take you right here where you have to enter the title of your ebook, right? Author, then your keywords, input your, you input your keywords, then you click on create. So right here, you have your doc converted to ebook for you, you know, right here. Scroll down, you see everything is well arranged, right? And you can now touch it, you know, beautify it, do whatever you want to do with it, right? Um, let me give it another color to red, you know, I think I want blue, right? And these as well, move it up, cancel edit, cancel edit, bring it down, right? And um, change the color. Right, you see, it has actually changed. See, the look is looking very, it's looking awesome now, right? And of course, you can edit it as well if you want to edit it, right? And once you're done again, you make sure you save it. Come right here to save it. And you can as well download in PDF format. And you see it has downloaded to my computer, right? And once that is done, you go back again. Click on Exit Editor, right? And you see it's right here for you. And of course, you can also make use of your URL imports from blog post or url you click on it and you click on next and you have to provide a website url and we will automatically grab useful content from there and you'll be able to create your ebook with ease right you paste the link right here and then you click on copy content so you will be taken right here you add the title author then your keywords then you click on create and so right here you have your ebook you know created via the link you provided right and right here you can adjust just you may leave it this way i think i like it this way but i can do some touches with the color you know the Change the color to blue and give it blue. Black. Change the color as well. Right. See, this is beautiful. You can do anything you like with it. You know, all the contents are here right now. And you may decide to remove anything. Let me delete this page completely. And you see this. You can, you know, arrange it. You can adjust it. You can adjust it. You adjust it, and you can add anything to it again. Okay, now let me add introduction to this. Click on text, right, and the text comes right here. And you edit content, cancel edit, you bold it, you may want to add color, I think I like it this way, you can just change the font, so Dana, right, and uh, give it more size, increase the size, and move it right here. So you can do anything you want with your content, right? It's been generated for you via the blog, right? Via the link that you provided. And that's it. You can just adjust it a little bit this way, right? So to make it look quite good, okay? So that's it. And once you're done, you click on save. Book content updated successfully. You can click on PDF as well to download it to your computer. Say it's been downloaded to my computer and I go back now. So once you're done again, you click on Exit Editor to go back.
right you see it right here and that's it so now you can also create flipbook you click on flipbook and right here you have to select pdf document you wish to upload right and you click here to upload it let's say this then you click on open and you see it right here you name it right and then you click on upload amazing this is our flip book right it's been generated and you click here to you know flip the book you flip through the book your ebook flip through your ebook wow isn't this amazing isn't this awesome i think i love this right and you can always go back again and again and again right and you can do auto play right here you click on auto play and it plays automatically for you right that's it you can pause it again and you can bookmark it right here bookmark left page or bookmark right page click on anyone right and as you can see it's here already right and i cancel that you can share your flip book as well on any social media anywhere whatsapp you know via email linkedin pinterest you know on x platform and even facebook as well right you go back again you can print your flip book you click on it print left page print right page print all pages right so you can it again and right here you can as well download in pdf format right and that's it so now let us go back again now any flip book that you create will appear right here so if you want to view it again you just click on it right right and you know you click on it you click you click right and that's it then now you have to go to your marketplace you click on marketplace you have to sign in with your books login details right then you sign in and you're gonna have this in your dashboard right and you come to marketplace right here you click on marketplace right you have to input your name i mean the name of your marketplace right then you choose your file that's your logo and then you click on open you see it right here and then we have your description right here you enter your description right and once you do that you click on save right you see marketplace has been created so now you have to add ebooks to your marketplace now you click on add ebooks right here right so once you add ebooks to your marketplace you know all the ebooks will appear right here right and um, if you want to create from scratch you know you create ebooks again click on create ebooks and you see you have to impute the information you know description right here you know book cover image and file you have to upload them right and possibly the seo as well right and now let us do that very quickly the title of your ebook you impute the title right then the category and the author then your marketplace you select your marketplace right where you want that to be let me pick this right it goes there then price let's say 30 it's gonna be 30 dollar you click on save right then you come to your description right here and you input your description you know once you're done entering your description and your short description you come to cover image right here and what you have to do is to ensure that you upload your cover image and your ebook file right here now let's click on this and this will come up for you drag and drop files here or you actually click on it and you pick and then you click on open right you see this that's uploaded that's it so now you can click on this you check it and you select this file right it's there as you can see the cover image is right here so now right here again you have the ebook file you have to upload your ebook file you click on browse and this will pop up for you 
you drag and drop or you click on this you just click on this click on open you see it's loading file upload successful right and you click on this select this file and you see it has been uploaded right here so once you're done you click on save and as you can see book added successfully so that's it it's very very simple right now let's go to our marketplace and see what we've created right so you see we have it right here and the ebook we just added to this particular marketplace right and you have to just click on this marketplace and so you see this is how your marketplace actually looks like you know this is very very intriguing it is attractive when your customers come here they make purchase and you receive their order right they click on this and you see they'll be taken right here where they'll be provided with the details of your ebook and then they click on buy now and then they will come right here where they have to impute their full name email address the phone number you know they select the quantity of the product they want right and then they impute the address right here and they select the payment method i have on the paypal right and once that is done they click on pay now and you receive their order and that's it isn't that interesting so that's it thank you very much see you again in the next video